Today we're taking a day trip to Lowell and Bisbee, Arizona, a 30 minute drive from Whitewater Draw Wildlife Sanctuary or Reserve. And this is right next to Bisbee. A lot of people just buzz right past it and don't even know it's here. So let's take a look at this town that's frozen in the 50s. Like they say, there's no life like the low life in Lowell, Arizona, in the Palace Room, established in 1904. Lots of great old cars here, too, you'll find just parked along the edge of the road. And old Greyhound buses. We also have some really old gas station pumps here. Old Texaco. These are something else. Well, I have an old 5, 10, and 15 cent store, Spross Wrights Company, here in town, next to a fancy hat shop with the latest fashions from New York and Paris. Ooh la la. Just had a great breakfast at the Bisbee Breakfast Club here in Lowell, had a delicious Reuben sandwich, just fantastic. So we're gonna explore more of Lowell here before we head on up the road a bit to Bisbee. And at the far end of Lowell, just before you drive into Bisbee, is another old gas station. The cost of gas on these pumps was 34 cents a gallon. Ah, the good old days. And here is the huge, huge open mine pit between Lowell and Bisbee. This thing is huge. If there was huge earth-moving trucks down there, they'd seem like specks. And right up in that gorge there, if you can see some of the towns, that's Bisbee, up there in that gorge. That's where we're heading next. Also a lot of creative graffiti on the old building walls left here in Bisbee. Everyone expresses their creativity in some way in this town. This is one of the quirky little alleyways between streets as you go up the canyon here. It's all artwork on the wall all the way up to the next street. Yeah. This is just a little bit of the art wall in this little alleyway going up to the next street. It's one way to add art everywhere. This is why you want to explore Bisbee besides the main drag. Get out and spend a couple hours just wandering down all the streets. At one time they even had an inside zoo here with flying squirrels that was open at nighttime when they're most active in the natural habitat but they were all taken elsewhere in 2011 they even have a doctor here in this aisleway that has a surgery room I wonder if those lights mean good or bad things this town is just built in the ravine on the cliffs. The 
This is the old stock exchange building here. Saloon, but it's closed. Probably getting refurbished, I hope. This is the insides of the old stock market saloon. It really shows its age. Up there, that white building, 1904. A lot of old buildings up here. As you can see, there's buildings even going up the cliffs here, out of the ravine that is Bisbee. You do a lot of walking, that's for sure. We have Hotel Lamor. There's Hotel El Dorado right above that. A lot of bars and hotels here. A lot of places just tucked into little bitty buildings, in between buildings. It's like a, one of those Russian dolls. One inside another. You never know what you're going to find. Here we have a sculpture playing the flute in the garden. All kinds of artwork here. If you go further up the ravine, there's a huge old hotel there. But roaming the streets, you can explore and see a lot of quirky things. Some are steampunk devices, very creative and imaginative. And some are things from probably a circus that went through town a hundred years ago. It's anyone's guess. Plus, they have magic shows. This town is alive with so much. So, Lowell and Bisbee are two very quirky towns. Well, that pretty much sums up Bisbee and Lowell. They're both quirky towns, frozen in time, and worth the exploration. Best to park your car and expect to spend a good two to four hours going up and down all the different streets, up and down all the different alleys, poking your head into all the stores, and just seeing what quirky things are in these two towns. They have great restaurants, coffee shops, bookstores. They're alive with, well, <laughs> just about all kinds of things. They're creative in artwork and in cooking and they have a variety of interesting things I think to meet anybody's curiosity. So as the girls and I always say to you we wish you happy trails and woof woof.